I asked a chat GPT to write syllabus on basic English communication with quiz in each week with one midterm and uh, one final exam and it gave me this response and uh, I asked for a lesson plan for week one and here is the response and then um, when it asked me uh, when it gave me options for assessment I also asked for quiz questions and then uh, I asked uh, multiple choice questions with the answers and then I asked for uh, assignment questions too and it gave me beautiful uh, response and then uh, I uh, and then I asked ChatGPT to suggest me with some H5P activities for week one. Hey, just observe this. Amazing. It gave me H5P uh, content type and then what should I do? And then I asked for a lesson plan for week two. You know, uh, and automatically it included optional H5P activities if you observe here. Then it gave me some... Uh, uh, instructions and guided practice and independent practice and then how do I close and what are the assessments and then I asked for some practice questions for guided practice and also for independent practice and then I asked for H5P practice questions for independent practice as it mentioned that in uh, independent practice to provide a H5P activity so then when I asked the H5P practice questions, it gave me again a content type along with um, what should I be doing, what kind of questions I be giving. And then it gave a note about the H5P. Now I'll ask to write a lesson plan for week three. So, if you observe uh, the objectives here and the materials needed, it added again H5P activities and uh, it gave me some assessment uh, ideas. If you see in the procedure, uh, it gave me options for guided practice and independent practice and H5P practice. Now, I can ask a handout text for guided practice. Similarly, text for independent practice. And also I can ask for questions on H5P practice. Similarly, I'll do for week four and five. Let's see this.
Isn't it amazing? Uh, it gives us a spark. Of course, we have to edit it uh, the way it suits to our curriculum, the way we teach and depending upon the level also we have to consider. Uh, but it's a good start, isn't it? Uh, by the way, I asked for, uh, as it mentioned, uh, 30 questions for my final assessment. It could give me 16 and then it got just got uh, stopped and then it said it's taking a lot of time and it gave me a few more example questions. So what do you think?